going to have some of that mix from our take and bake Mexican lasagna today. cilantro mix and I grill that this is what I'm having for lunch today So I'm taking my break today, and uh, I always take my break around nine. And I just kind of assess where we're at, and what we're doing, where we're going. Do you know where you're going to? I sing that to myself sometimes. Um, but anyway, today the things that are on my mind are, you know, I've been here for what, five, six, seven, eight, about four hours now. We did the take and bake Mexican lasagnas. We made enchilada sauce, we made pinto beans, we made black beans. We did all the prep to start the day. When we get back from our breaks, we gotta prep about 50 pounds of onions. We have to cut the color chips. We have to make green sauce today. We have to lit up all the take and bake Mexican lasagnas and I have to make a label for that before people come to pick them up. Um, but the things that are on my mind are like the food truck things. And so right now what I'm thinking is what's going to make our food truck the most efficient is by having like two different menu options um, that are going to be dependent on the event, um, the clientele, the size and scope. And so what I think we're going to do is, you know, option one or two. And for those of you that don't know, our food truck is under construction. It'll be done here um, in about 42 days or so. Everybody says, where's it gonna park? What's the plan? I'm working on it. So two options for the menu. Option one, option two. I don't know exactly what these menu options look like, but option one is gonna be streamlined, fast, efficient, effective. They can operate with only like two staff members and quick, easy, turn, turn, turn. So the first thing that comes to mind is like fried foods, because we do most of the prep here for those crisp burritos. And so we can take a bunch of crisp burritos to the store or to the food truck, and we don't even have to set up the rail for any of those cold items and just serve all the crisp burritos, tater tots, cheese sticks, cinnamon chips, churros. We're gonna have foldums. We can even do grilled steak burritos uh, with little effort. Um, and so that'll be like a quick, easy option for a menu. 
or a certain venue that that might call for. But then we might have other options or venues where they might want our option menu option number two, which is like more of a full service, full menu scope where we've got taco salads, burritos, nachos, uh, cafeteria burrito, smothered burrito, things like that. But option one, we're gonna be able to just set up in like 30 minutes and go. Option two is gonna be more of a structured uh, setup and tear down. Um, so good examples are like, let's say Delta High School and their faculty want Tumbleweeds food truck out there for, the, for a lunch service. That might be a one hour service, in which case we might go with option one. Better for profitability, better for crew to uh, implement, uh, better for selection for people. They've only got, they're only gonna be able to choose from like three different options. So it's gonna be better on all the metrics that are gonna make it successful. But then we might be, let's say, at the boat races where we're going to be there all day from like 11 until 6. And we might need a more of a full menu, more options for those patrons at that event. Just to give you an example of where my head's at. So I got the uh, point of sale system yesterday. And the point of sale system is pretty clever. It lets you program those different menu options. So we can just be like, hey, menu option one. We're gonna have like a hanging on hooks menu uh, for certain events. It'll be you know pr professionally done and outline only the things that are op uh, available on option menu one versus option two. Uh, this will make training much easier, staffing much easier, efficiency much easier, and ultimately profitability should follow that too. So that's what I'm thinking. I've never done a food truck, so we could throw all that out the window if that doesn't work. But I don't know where my head's at right now. Another thing that's on my mind today is that we're getting ready for our next last call promotion. So a significant part of our prep today is preparing for that. Oh, oh the phone's ringing. I'll come back.